Oh my god, she's not here! Hi! This is so weird, are you not gonna cry? I'm not crying! Don't cry! Your hair looks so nice! Thank you! You look so pretty! Oh my god! What about my hair? Your hair looks great too! I spent hours on it. You look nice in a bow tie, you look so cute! Wait, okay. Oh yeah, we can't oh, it. it's coming off. There you go. Oh, so... <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Stunning as ever. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> oh my god, did you have any idea? No, Woo. that's funny. Showing the little nip slip. Oh, mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, easy. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, happy wedding, man. Happy <laughs> wedding. Oh, that's amazing. Should I like. If you wanna, if you wanna embrace me properly. So be honest, did you know? No. Because she told us that you said something. Watch me turn around and be Brandon. She said she was so proud. We always thought about it because it's just awesome. Yeah, and she was so proud. Hold on, let me get you two together, like a real lovey, full body. Okay. Oh, easy there. Just oh, down, down on the sun from where they're supposed to be. <laughs> as soon as we get back to Columbus, right. I'll buy you dinner. Yes, please do. Let's go to Mezzo's.
Yeah. Keith, you first. <laughs> Will you take Elizabeth to be your wife? Will you love and respect her? Will you be honest with her always? Will you stand by her through whatever may come? Will you genuinely and sincerely share your life with her? If so, respond by saying, I will. I will. Elizabeth, will you take Keith to be your husband? Will you love and respect him? Will you be honest with him always? Will you stand by him through whatever may come? Will you genuinely and sincerely share your life with him? If so, respond by saying, I will. I will. Okay, we should have some rings. <laughs> Somewhere. You can take Elizabeth's <laughs> ring. Oh. So, as you're putting that ring on her finger, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Constant faith. And our abiding love. Abiding love. Okay. Elizabeth, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. In our abiding love. In our abiding love. <laughs> As we stand here where life is touched by love, we share with those who have taken their marriage vows their newfound happiness. We see the door open for companionship, for growth and fulfillment. So may each bring his and her whole and best self to the other. May they bring intelligence as well as faith to the task that is set before them. May they maintain enduring trust and respect, remembering that to understand all is ever to forgive all. Thus united, not only by the words of this ceremony, but by their shared hopes and joys, and by the burden which life will bring them to bear one for the other. May love bless this union. May each day increase constantly in joy and satisfaction. By virtue of the giving and receiving of the marriage vows and covenants, and the giving and receiving of the marriage rings, and by virtue of the power vested in me as judge, I now declare that you are husband and wife. Keith, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
years. Our bride considers her a wonderful new friend and her new sister. He still only has his boyfriend. Now he's been in the picture for about a year and just earned his degree in criminal justice. Our groom asks that we go along and he didn't even work with him in his wedding party. That's why he did today. So give us some applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Brady Spencer and AJ Hilliard! Before we open up our wonderful, wonderful food line, we have a few words that our bride would like to share with you. All right, is that okay? I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because I know we wanna eat. <laughs> but thank you all so much for coming. Thank you to everyone who came out of town. Um, and for the people that came to the ceremony, um, is there anything you want to say? Let's eat. Yeah, let's eat. We're really <laughs> hungry. So thank you so much. It's going to be really fun. Oh, we. All right. Boy, oh boy. Please don't, don't let me stop uh, interrupting your dinner. I know that uh, some of you are still eating dinner. But we want you to continue. Continue eating. But right now, we want, to, uh, we want to introduce to you, again, our maid of honor, and our best man, Emily and Brandon, right there, sitting to the left and right of our bride and groom, right? Now, like every wedding, most weddings, we, we have some words from those folks, and we wanna, we wanna hear some special memories, special thoughts that they'll share with you. I wanna make sure that, that, uh, that, that you can hear me kinda in the back, though. It's a, it's a very long room, it's a long room. And I told Emily a while ago that even with, with, a, with, a, with a strong voice like mine sometimes, I have to make sure that it carries back there. So, uh, so hopefully, hopefully it does. Now, the one thing that we noticed that during the introductions earlier, when we introduced Emily, was that she was famous for one thing. One thing, what was that? Eating chicken, correct. But you know what the crazy thing is that I noticed while ago? is that her plate of chicken was untouched. And I asked her why that was. And she said, I was nervous. <laughs> now I also asked her about the story about eating chicken. Because quite frankly, in my experience of doing this many years, I've never heard such a cockamamie's thing. That someone's famous for eating chicken. Unless, of course, you dress in a white suit and your name is Colonel Sanders. 
but she's much more attractive, isn't she? <laughs> the reason she got the, 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 the famous trademark of eating chicken was because when she was a little, little baby and she was on a beach on a vacation, somebody said, hey, Emily, what are you doing? She said, eating chicken. <laughs> That's a true story, am I right? Yes, I never lie. My wife would debate that. It is an honor to be here with you today in your presence. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening with us tonight. Because guess what? We do have a phenomenal time planned for you. Without further ado, please show some friendship, love for our maid of honor, Eating Chicken Emily. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Emily Hess, the maid of honor and bride sister. Loyal, honest, funny, caring, but enough about me. I'm here to talk about Elizabeth and Keith. Elizabeth and I have known each other since August 22nd, 1999. Elizabeth wished for a sister and I was her wish come true. I've known Keith since March of 2014. Keith and Elizabeth are perfect for each other. Elizabeth likes to yell at Keith and Keith likes to be yelled at by Elizabeth. When Elizabeth first told me that she was going on a date with Keith, I thought, you've got to be kidding me. She's going on a date with the drug dealer from down the street? <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't that, Keith. <laughs> In all honesty, Keith has been like a brother to me. So annoying. <laughs> Elizabeth and Keith, marriage lets you annoy one special person for the rest of your life. Take advantage of that as much as you can. Congratulations, I love you both. <laughs> What did she have to be nervous about? <laughs> I think she's one of those types that kind of, that kind of uh, made me believe that she was nervous and then she was gonna come up here and knock it out of the ballpark. You know those kind, right? I think she did a wonderful job. Now this next fella is famous for one thing, for having a beard that would make Jesus and the Bee Gees jealous. I give you Brandon Popsicle. <laughs> Thank you for that introduction, that was very nice. Um, unlike Emily, I am actually uh, not a great speaker and I'm nervous, so just bear with me here. Good evening everyone, I'm Brandon Pospisil, the best man, and I'm so excited to be part of Keith and Liz's special day. I'm even more excited that Uncle Keith won't actually be growing old above my garage like he always jokes with my son. <laughs> if you spent much time around them as a couple, then you've seen that look in Liz's eyes. The one that says, I'll always love you, regardless of the things you say. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone look at Keith like that since our freshman Spanish teacher. <laughs> Isn't that right, Sergio? <laughs> Most of you know that about two years ago, Keith decided to take a chance on love and move to Central Ohio. As you can see, it worked out very well for him since him and I have been inseparable ever since. <laughs> I remember one evening recently, we were all hanging out at my house and Keith and Liz were bickering back and forth about something I can't remember. In my head, I'm thinking, Keith is definitely sleeping in the spare bedroom tonight. <laughs> but I look back at him three seconds later and they're just making out on my couch like nothing ever happened. After a minute of processing and deleting that image of Keith Slobber from my brain, I thought to myself, that's what all couples should strive for. Being able to set aside our differences and opinions and egos and realize that love is more important. And that's one of the many reasons that I know these two have that forever kind of love. My almost three-year-old son and Keith have had an ongoing competition for Liz's heart for the last two and a half years. Although it was a close race, I think it's safe to say that tonight we know who won. If you would raise your glasses to Keith and Liz, may your relationship be always full of love, happiness, and fulfillment. Cheers. 
before we go into our first dance, we have to. We want to share some inform. We want to share some information to you, with you. Um, a bit of a story that we compiled with the help of of Keith and Elizabeth. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. How many people actually know how they met? Raise your hand, please. Yeah, one. <laughs> but I'm going to put us all on the same page and tell you the story of the Huffs. Elizabeth and Keith, not the drug dealer, <laughs> met in March of 2014. She was working at a family video, and during one of her work nights, a young, handsome fella came in. Now right after him, another guy came in, and that was Keith. <laughs> now after perusing the latest releases and the adult section, he made his way to the checkout counter to check out the cashier. She said they started talking for a while and after getting her name, he then went to Facebook and there began the Facebook stalking. And that carried on throughout the evening until the next day when he asked her for her number and she said no. I can't, I'm just kidding. Now, their first date, however, was simply dinner and a movie. They broke bread at a new place they had never been to, a place called Texas Roadhouse, which, by the way, is one of their favorite places now to eat. Now, the movie was Need for Speed. It starred Aaron Paul. You may recall him, who played Jesse in Breaking Bad. Now, he was a mutual favorite actor of both of those guys. So it was, it was no, no question on what movie they were going to see. Now, Keith and Elizabeth, they, they, both, enjoy, they both enjoy trying out new spots uh, to eat. But on most nights, they enjoy staying in. They enjoy being introverts because their time together is so darn important. Whether it's staying home, cuddled up, watching movies together, or packing the car and heading to the drive-in, they make the most of their time together. And their relationship has blossomed into not only a relationship based on fun, adventure, and recreation, but it's most importantly one built on friendship, love, and trust. Two of the most key ingredients in any relationship, and of course any marriage, as we most, most of us know. Now last year on August 5th is when the engagement went down. Let me share you, let me share with you how that went down. You see, Keith had planned on popping the question in a beautiful secluded rose garden that was located in Dublin. He knew the place. However, Elizabeth had different plans. She wanted to go to the state fair I was right there in Columbus. So, gentlemen, you know how it is. Happy wife, happy life, right? So what did we do? We went to the state fair. He agreed to go to the fair. But see, his plan of action was to take her to the garden afterwards to seal the deal. With his ring tucked safely in his pockets, they headed to the fair. But unexpectedly, before entering the fair, they had to go through a security checkpoint. Oh, damn! <laughs> Forced to empty his pockets, Elizabeth saw the ring box. <laughs> now, they both admit that their time at the fair was quite awkward. <laughs> In fact, to be honest with you, as they tell me, neither of them really spoke much while they were <laughs> at the fair. <laughs> Keith was adamant on getting back on track. 
and fulfilling his dream of asking this woman to marry him. So they left the fair soon thereafter, and they headed straight to the Rose Garden, where he walked Elizabeth through a stream on some rocks and found the perfect place to propose to the love of his life. Today, we all got to witness the completion of her answer. And now, for the first of a lifetime of dances. Please help me introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Keith and Elizabeth Huff to the dance floor.
enjoy their dance together. This is a, a very touching moment. This is the point where her mother gets to dance with her son finally. How many times in your lifetime have you danced with your son? How many times? Just a couple. Um, when they were little, of course. But this one is, this one is most important, isn't it? You are? Well, if you cry, we're all going to cry. So please, just enjoy the rest of the night. Watching her baby grow up, her baby boy grow up, into this man who is married to, is married today, ladies and gentlemen, King Rogers, and through the years.
Ready to go, Father, the daughter dance. Bill, what did that dance mean to you tonight? <laughs> I lost four words, right? Yeah, always, always. When you, when you get the dance with your daughter, that's a great mistake on her. You know what I mean? So, uh, I, can, I can dance with her all night. She's a great girl. I'm sure she'd love it. We're very happy for her. I'm sure you're proud of her. Thank you.
that be your name? Hey, you but you're not no more. Are you drinking tonight? Hell no. Hell no, she said. But she sure is cussing. Grandpa. Hey, who are you eating these folks? My name's Vic. Grandpa. D. Right here. Grandpa. Their daughter. Sit. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you helping out, by the way. Steph has a chair. Sit. There you go. Yeah, yeah we'll sit. sit. Go ahead and sit. sit. Go ahead and sit. Sit down. Go ahead and sit. There's a chair behind you. There's a chair. This leg. Oh yeah. This is why. This is why. Folks, I want to tell you something. When we do the anniversary dance, we usually invite the, all the couples up at one time, and then by the time you left, you've got the oldest married couple left on the dance floor. That's too long for the oldest married couple to be on the dance floor sometimes. For 10 or 15 minutes, like we've gone to. So this is why I do it in reverse like that. Now, Eleanor, before you go, tell us what your secret, besides drinking and cussing, what your secret is to maintain a viable, healthy, happy, funny relationship. Marriage of 54 years almost. Tell us your secret. Never go to bed mad. Never go to bed pissed off or anything. You talk about things? Never slept apart. Never slept apart. Only when you sit in the hospital. Wow, if I recall watching uh, some of the shows on the TV, even they have two twin beds in the nightstand in the middle. Not you. Y'all have one bed. We have one bed. How many children do you have? Seven. Oh, wow, seven kids. Well, that bet served you well. <laughs> now, what did you girl do on your first day? Do you remember? You probably did. You probably did one day. But you know what? We are so glad that you and Earl could forgive me that tonight. And Earl is 96, you said that, right? Uh, we, we once again want to thank Earl for his, for his, for his valiant military service to his country. Uh, we know that uh, we know that those W2 veterans are getting less and less around. So we are certainly happy and blessed to have them around, and so equally blessed to have you guys around to join us today and lending us your advice. Ladies and gentlemen, Eleanor and Earl. And I am so glad that you are enjoying my entertainment tonight. Thank you. That you're entertaining yourself. Uh, you used to be. Now, how did you, what is your name again? Sandy. Sandy, okay. 57 years. How did you guys be? You lived in the same neighborhood? What did you do on your first date? Do you remember? Picture show with a young son. For those of you who don't know what a picture show is, that is also called going to a movie. Is that right? Yes. I learned that from, from my grandparents. They said, we went to the picture show and we saw Tarzan. I was like, what in the hell is the picture show? They said, you know, when you go to the movie theater. Okay, I get it. What is your secret for Keith Elizabeth to maintaining a healthy, happy marriage? You hear a lot of things there that one says. You just tune them out. Is that right, Paul? Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, how about this couple? 57 years right here. Thank you. Let's see which one of these couples knows the most about each other. Because I can tell you from experience, these folks that sit over here, the law professionals, sometimes they don't know you know what. They get into a routine and they forget all about themselves. As one of them said, as Hogan says, he twos them out. Let's go ahead with the questions. Let's start off with something very easy first. Who wears the pants in this relationship? <laughs> well, the house certainly are starting off on the right foot, no pun intended. And how about you? Go ahead, raise it up. You know you want to. Yes. Now, first of all, remind us your name. Shirley. Shirley and? Rod. Shirley and Rod. All right. 
Well, it's obvious that uh, Shirley has rod trained after 25 years because I can tell you that shoe damn sure went up real quick. And Mr. Huff here is learning very quickly. Now let's get a question that's very uh, non-intimidating. Careful now. Which one of you wins the arguments? Wow, look at that shoe. Go ahead, Rob, don't be afraid. The Huffs have it again for the win. She won't quit arguing until she wins. And Shirley and Rob have it again. Shirley wins the arguments, Keith wins the arguments. With that being said, Keith may have a long road ahead of himself. If he keeps that up. <laughs> Would you mind asking a question? It's right here. The first one, very first one. Who spends more time in front of the mirror? He spent more time, is that right? Alright. Um, which one of you said, I love you first? Oh. Emily said it first. <laughs> Elizabeth? Emily's sister. I mean, uh, Elizabeth said it first, thank you. I am in the wrong way. And Rob Reese, yes, it surely said it first. Alright, thank you. You're awesome. Which one of you is the best driver? Look at that shoe go up. And Keith is the best driver. The Huffs have it over here, and we have a mismatch over here. See what I mean? So far, this couple is losing, and they are supposed to be professionals. They don't know nothing. Please, Shirley, don't you get rowdy with me. It's not my fault y'all stop listening to each other. He drives with two feet. He drives with two feet. And I bet you're the backseat driver all the way. And I bet you are. Just like my wife. Who's, who has the craziest, wildest family members? <laughs> Come on, Elizabeth. You know you want to go the house over here. House of the craziest family. And look at that Shirley family. It's the craziest one. Is that right, Ron? What is crazy about her family? They're all crazy. Like, not you crazy? Is any of them here tonight? No. Thank God. Because I'm not going to be your bodyguard. Now, which one, Shirley, this is going to be a fun one. Listen, I think you're having fun with this one too now. Listen to this one. Ladies, you better listen up. The biggest baby when they get sick. Look at that. Right. Don't you lie to me. You're darn right. Let me tell you about us guys. We have a different system, a different makeup than you girls. When we get sick, believe me, we are sick. I got a 99.8 temperature. I am sick, I am down for days. Bring me chicken noodle soup and take care of it. And give me lots of loving. <laughs> Who spends more money? Look at that shoe go up. Elizabeth spends more money than this one. Keith is, what do you, why do you say that? Trust me. I don't know. Trust me. <laughs> So who is it? does she do the budgeting? No. You do the budgeting. Absolutely. And you find that this, this is a turmoil of a job. Hard work. Shh. I can see right now. I can see right now. This honeymoon ain't gonna start off very well. Uh, who is in control? I said more, but I'm good. Who is in control 
of the remote control. TV, look at this. Her. Shirley's in charge of the remote, and the Huffs have to fight about it. I can see right now, this is gonna be a tough honeymoon. Now, which one of you talks on the phone all the time? Look at this, Elizabeth Huff, talking on the phone all the damn time. And then, Rob and Shirley, they're confused. Rob spends a lot of time calling 1-900 numbers. And Shirley, gets, Shirley catches him when the bill comes in. And then he spends more time in the dunk tank. All right. Now, which one of you guys, theoretically speaking, which one of you guys, now, now watch yourself, because we got a police officer over there in the corner. Which one of you are most likely, I'm not saying you did, this is not admission of guilt, but which one of you are most likely to run a red light? Nobody's around. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead, former Miss Hess. Ah, there you go. We knew you wanted to put that shoe up. You see, she looks innocent. Pretty and innocent. But she didn't run that damn red light. Look at the cop over there. The cop's like, I got your number. What about you, Rob? What's over here? So, Shirley, would you agree that you would probably run that red light? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, boy. Now, with that being said, which one of you, again, police officer over there, this is not an admission of guilt whatsoever. Which one of you holds your liquor better? I don't drink. He doesn't drink. Keith says he doesn't drink. Well, give it a couple more years, buddy. He ain't been married long enough. Give it a couple more years. I kid, though. I just kid. It's, look, I'm not a bad person. It's just part of my job. That's all I'm doing. Just to just be funny. Now, who is most likely, I already know the answer to this, who is most likely to fall asleep watching television? Well, I'll be damned. I was completely wrong. I was wrong over here, and I was wrong over there. Elizabeth, you're telling me that you're going to fall asleep during, during, a, during a picture show. Ain't that right, Mr. A picture show? Keith's movies are not the movies I like to watch. Hey, man, what kind of movies do you like? What kind of movies do you watch? <laughs> um, uh, like scary, gory, action, <laughs> interstellar, random stuff. Hey, you're just not into that. You like romantic comedies. I like Disney movies. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's our Frozen girl at? Where's Frozen? Where's she go? Over there. Which one of you spends more time, I'm not going to ask what you're doing, but which one of you spend more time in the damn bathroom? Look at this. Keith spends more time in the bathroom, and Shirley spends more time in the I'm beginning to think you, Shirley, you and Keith should probably get married. Because y'all are the like perfect match. He said, Shirley says, Shirley says, that's disgusting. I'm not from West Virginia. He's my, he's my nephew. What, are y'all from West Virginia? Wild and wonderful. Well, he's a very lonely person. I do not want you to hit me. I got a police officer over there. He said, She's not holding her liquor very well right now. All right. Now, which one of you is the better I don't know. driver? You did that one. You did that one. You did that one. I did do that. Okay. Here's the other good one. Which one of you is the biggest flirt? Oh. Watch out. Over here in the house. They're debating on whether or not to answer this question or not. I know you know. Yeah. No, 
Keith, by the way, when you walked into that family video that night to, to meet her, or her unintentional to meet her, who was with you that night? Jan. Who? Jan? Jan jumped up and down. Jan was. He's South Carolina, right? Yeah. NBC. Got it. Okay, good. He was with you that night. Now, when we met. He lives with Does that mean you and Keith still live on this street? I don't live on that street. She don't live on the street. Okay. Which one of you, next question, is most likely to eat dessert for breakfast? Elizabeth Huffins. And Rob is surely going to share that dessert in the morning. All right, thank you. Next, who is most likely to ruin clothing doing the laundry? Look at it. Sorry, it's us both screw it up. We're both messing with laundry. And over here, Rob, we gotta keep him out of the laundry room. No, you don't. Now, next question. And perhaps it could be the final question. Because I got a feeling these seats are getting hot. Especially over here. Who is the better singer? Whoa! Look at this. Elizabeth Hoff over here is the better singer. And then Rob over here. Rob, you're saying you're the better singer. Should I agree with you on that? She sings that too. Can you give us a sample? Just a small sample. Do you know any Kenny Rogers? You know any Kenny Rogers? Do you know any Lionel Richie? Damn, what do you sing? I'm going to put some karaoke up for you next. What about you, Elizabeth? He says that you, you do sing better. Can you give us a sample? What do you want? Uh, sing something from, from Disney. From Disney? Yeah, anything. Your favorite. Let it go. No, I don't. What about some Frozen? I don't want to do Frozen. Hmm, she doesn't want to do Frozen. Can I? Uh, we got to find out if she sings really good now. But Keith says it to do. What do I say? Song. I'm surprised I didn't play that one tonight. That's one of my favorites. All right. Finally, finally, but certainly not any less important. Which one of you guys, which one of you guys said, and try to remember, it's been 25 years, that's a quarter of a century, hadn't been that long for you guys. It's been about what? Five years, six, six years? Try to remember. Who said, I love you first? No, I did not. I said, you can't. Did I do that one? Did I do that first? All right, let's try another one. Dawn, try to keep me in line now. All right? All right. Be careful. This moment tonight, who in the world do you love most out of everyone on this entire planet? Oh, wait, so I got the here. Sure, we're waiting on your answer. That did not go according to plan. You're supposed to raise the issue. You didn't raise your issue because you do love her more than anything, right? All right.
I like shining, 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 I like shining,